Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Craig. And I'm Brian. And uh, today we're going to do age before beauty. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's not right. No, 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 yeah, we'll do the old me. one no, first. No. With you. Anyways, you're, you're the old one. Old school is the only school, let's, let's be honest. Well, and we got a nice school. 1986 D21 hard body, uh, the classic Nissan pickup truck, which made Nissan famous in the truck world in the States, let's be honest. And it's just simple, elegant, and classic. And uh, more on why this is so important in a minute. But let's just start at the front here. Ron, we got some, a nice uh, bumper right here to kind of push, uh, you know, who knows, uh, bad guys out of the way. Could be anything, not sure. Comes with some fog lights. You always like the separated fog light. We've got one right here. Nice and halogen. Look at that headlight. Very easy to replace and maintain and change. You can actually do the adjustments right there to get the angle just right. Oh, so these aren't auto. Very convenient, very hey, convenient. Do, do they follow at night when you turn the steering wheel? They don't need to. Oh, they don't okay, need to. okay. So, and then I like the, the badging here, the little uh, old school script here, Nissan 4x4 and orange. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, skid plates. Yeah, there's a skid plate. We got one there, nice and metal. It, in fact, a lot of things are metal here. Not a lot of fake things in here, and that's nice. Very so, genuine. Let's uh, come around to the wheel and tire over here. Brian, uh, get a nice little, this is a neat detail, and an important detail that we'll see in a minute, but I like this little black uh, fender flare. Um, helps out with, you know, driving off road and rock chips and that sort of thing. But the meats, we gotta get to the meats. Brian, this is what used to work in the old days. This is a 31 by 10 and a half, 15 inch. Wait, yes, 15, wait. 15, yes. So is that like a 225 or so, a 235? Uh, it's, a, it's a 31. Oh, okay. It so okay. it's really yeah, easy yeah. to measure. In fact, that's a measurement we should go through on all, car, all tires. It's 31 inches. It's real simple. But a 15 inch wheel, it's okay. It used to actually work. Um, you have automatic locking hubs here, which is a big deal back in the day. You used to have to get out and actually do that. You don't have to do that in this one. That's high tech in 86. That is high tech. And Brian, let's be honest, what's the best part about this truck? The heritage wheel. It might be this right here. Look at this. Also, the tri -spoke. Also, also, this is really nice. Yeah, lot, lots of yeah. meat. But tri spoke, that is really awesome right there. It's just a classic design. I don't know how many people want to put this on all their trucks. Um, so, the good news is, Nissan's got a solution for that later. But let's continue on down the side. Very simple mirror, nothing. Nothing too complicated. I like it's black, contrast to red. Nothing to uh, break. Nothing to break. And Brian, you see this? Look at all that. That's fit for a king. You know what that is? That's a king cab, baby. <laughs> so uh, we'll get in We'll get in, in a minute, but moving on back, we got a nice sport bar back here because who knows, you might want to put lights up there or your butters are hanging in the back. This got some for them to hold on to, that sort of thing. Actually, I heard this truck is friends with Marty McFly's old truck. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that so makes sense. Very yeah. famous trucks. Um, we got, so coming on back here, Brian, very simple leaf setup. Um, I don't know what kind of shocks we have back here, but I'm sure they've been replaced at this point. But uh, well, anyways, seems. solid axle in the back, independent up front. So, and look at this exhaust, check that out. Now that's that's a uh, simple, basic, honest pipe, is what that is. And uh, I like that. You it's don't adorable. have to have, yep. yeah, it's adorable. Uh, moving on the back, I want to do the tailgate. Yeah, okay, good, we're good. This is a pristine edition. This actual truck is actually out of the Nissan Heritage collection. collection. Nissan owns this truck. Um, it's really kind of a gem. This is really nice. That's awesome. But simple tailgate design. This is how it used to work. No bed coatings, none of that. And it just works. Well, it has a, the coating is the paint. The coating it's, here is the paint. The Nissan's paint. done a really good job making this thing pristine and it looks great, to be honest with you. All right, Brian, enough of all that. Let's get under the hood and see how many ponies we got. All right, the most important part, what's under the hood? Let's check it out. Nice, simple release, probably somewhere in here. Um, mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. okay, found it. Got a prop rod. Look, Brian, you see this? Oh, yeah. They still do this today on a lot of cars. Uh, and actually, here's what's great here. See, see how far it opens? I can actually service this thing. This is 37 years old and it hasn't broken yet. And it still works. Yeah. Well, Brian, we've got the big old electro injection. Not just electronic fuel injection, electro injection. Okay, okay. This is a three liter V6, good for a whopping 140 horsepower. That may not sound like much, but again, look at this truck. It's not big. It doesn't need a lot more than that. That is plenty. And I'll show you what it's paired to transmission wise in a minute, but <clears throat> simple basic design, no issues here and fuel injection at this time when it came out, big deal. Not hardly, hardly any of the no, domestics I, had that. Ford wasn't doing that yet. Ford was, GM not doing was that yet. certainly not doing that yet. This is one of those vehicles back in 1986. You could just get in and start and it worked every time. Yep. All right, Brian, let's get into the King Cab. First things first, let's see how much room we've got back there. And you actually have some room. Um, so this right here, boys and girls, I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is called a jump seat. It comes down and then it flops up and you actually have a seat belt. There's a seat belt here and a latch there. You can actually put some kids back here. Wow. This was actually legal back then and worked. This one actually has the split window in the rear. And if you're, I'm gonna tell you this, look, if you're under nine years old, this is the place to be. This is awesome back here. And if you don't have kids, plenty of storage. Also, these are vent windows. Yes, vent windows. 
All right, moving on to the uh, <clears throat> driver's spot. This is where it's all at. This is a simple, basic design. Let me just show the people this. This, These are actual gauges. That's what they should look like. Everybody needs to do this. Look at the 80s retro uh, block stuff and uh, graphics. Awesome graphics. This only has 87,000 miles on the clock. This is, again, this is a gym. And Brian, this actually has cruise control. There's a button, Whoa. a separate switch over here, which is really interesting. And you turn it on there, and then here is how you accelerate or hit resume if you cancel it by hitting the brake later. Very interesting. Wiper control on the side here. That was a, a very uh, Japanese thing. They have two stocks. The Mexicans don't do that, even to this day. And here's your indicators letting you know if, whether the cruise is on or your four-wheel drive is on. How do you do four-wheel drive? Yeah, well, that actually, what is well, all this? The, yeah, this, so this, is, this handle here, you may have seen these in some forerunners. That's an actual manual connected cable to the actual transfer case. You can actually put it in the uh, mode you want. Too high, four high, or four low. And Brian, this, I don't know if you know what this is. What is this? That, that, so what that is, is, is that that's, that's connected to this pedal down here. There's three of them because this is a manual like it yes. should be. Oh, man, this is so awesome. This is great. I love the old school wrap on this as well. Okay, a aftermarket, okay. But children born after, I don't know, 95? This was normal at one time. This is how you, you fixed your steering wheel when back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> didn't, you didn't buy with leather wrap. You added no, leather wrap. Right. This particular unit actually has, look at your door, has power windows and power locks. Even though you can reach across it, you don't need it. Wow. Which is actually quite amazing. They do have an aftermarket Kenwood upgraded stereo in here, but single DIN, it works. Yep. And then manual AC controls. Nothing bothers you. Everything works. There's no screen to go out. <sighs> also, what's this that? Great. That's not a sunroof. That's, that's not a, a sunroof. It's just a, you just pop it open and vent. boom, you're in business. So Okay, cool. All, All right. right. We don't get to take this on the road, but we do have something new to compare it to. You want to check that out? Time for the beauty part of the show. All right, boys and girls, now it's time for the new fun bit. We've seen the history and the age, which just wouldn't be sellable today, unfortunately, beautiful. as beautiful as it is. But was once old is now vintage, and that's the 80s. And that's why we have this wheel back. They yes. call it the hard body. But really, it's a frontier with some really cool appearance packages. It's about $3,800 over the base SV. So you don't get the rear locker and you don't get some of the off-road modes that the Pro 4X has, but you do get, at least on this one, this has a ride height that's actually taller. We're not sure if this is a display feature or if they're actually gonna come that way, but this one does have a lift over the Pro 4X. But most importantly, the crown jewel of the package is the wheel. It's tri-spoke, but it's not a 15. It doesn't have a center cap. The lug nuts are exposed, it's a 17, but you still have so much sidewall. I can see people already throwing KO2s on this, so actually what will probably happen is people will buy a Pro 4X and buy this wheel and throw it on there. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, and what this is, this is the Pro 4X tire is what it is. Yeah, Pro 4X tire, yeah, right. so you get that. This does have Saks dampers, and it appears to be about two and a half inches taller compared to the Pro 4X. We love it, it looks just right. I hope that this is how it comes sold. But do know this is a display vehicle, it is not a, a production ready unit, so keep that in mind. Up front, you'll see some accents trying to remedy what the old one was doing. There's a lot of red and black. You've got it here too. Got a black applique on the hood. You've got this kind of wire mesh treatment that you used to see on a lot of the old brush cards. That's pretty neat. And then up front, the entire nose is blacked out, but you do not have detached fog lights as standard, but I guarantee you the aftermarket community will handle that. Oh, you do. They're in here already. I mean, the uh, pods, the squares. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. these are integrated in the side, but I guarantee you this will look cool with some round ones up front. Absolutely. So let's check out the back. Come around here. You do get a nice skid plate to it still as well. Oh, you do get a skid plate with it as well. Yeah, you get a skid plate and you also get these. These are rock rails and these are functional. So we've seen these before um, on the Pro 4X. You can typically bolt on steps. This doesn't have them on there and it's just a really solid rock rail that's functional and more important than the step. I'm glad it has that, that's a good deal. Coming to the side, you keep the same black molding that you see on the old one. I like this a lot, this is important. It tells the world that you are campsite friendly. You can take some rocks thrown around. But most importantly, Craig, Martin McFly doesn't have a, a younger brother, but we do here with the Frontier bed rail. We've seen this cap bar before on other Frontiers and it's never looked better than it does right it here. It works here. It works here it the best. It absolutely works. Come on back, the front and rear bumpers are different in that they are black. And so this is just not body match, it is black. And you get the black applique here to match the black applique of the old one. I think it looks really handsome. Let's check out under the hood. All right, boys and girls, 36 years later, what do you get? Well, you get strut rods, or uh, shocks. You get struts on the hood ramp. But a lower opening hood. But you get a lower opening hood, they don't want you to work on this one. That's what that means. But no, you don't need to. You don't need to. You don't have a three liter here. This thing's been punched out to a 3.8 and it has nothing to do with the old one, but it is fuel injected. 
and it has nearly three times the power at 310 horsepower wow. that's a massive massive difference we've driven this engine several times it's kind of the evolved vq if you will even though it's not technically a vq it's a good engine it's paired to a nine speed automatic that is co-developed with um mercedes and it's been rock solid so all that covered let's check on the interior and see if there's anything different there all right, coming on down into what is the modern era. We don't have a king cab, we have a crew cab. Look back here, you've got a whole second forward-facing row to pass all those modern cars. Hey, Bron, if you're a kid, would you rather sit there or the, king, the old king cab? Oh, the cab? old one, for sure. But as, yeah. a, as a parent, I'd feel safer with this. So yeah, just know fair. that. Now, what I like about this one is it is an SV-based interior trim, but you keep the fender stereo. That is nice to have. I'm not sure if production models are gonna have it that way, but I hope that they do. Interior-wise, this is a Frontier SV, and there's not a whole lot else to talk about except that it's a well-sorted, competent interior. It's comfortable. We've enjoyed our time with these in the past. Moral of the story, though, is what's better for you, new or old? I'm just so happy that Nissan has brought the hard body themed back to the Frontier. And so really, you've learned that age is actually also beautiful, so actually age and beauty wins. That's what old men say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time.